Hey friends, this is Ram and you're watching Fitness Geek. In today's video, we will be installing the Power BI uh, data gateway in personal mode and we'll see how you can refresh your uh, you know, reports uh, using uh, the Power BI data gateways in personal mode. So let's get started. If you see my screen, this is a report that I have built. This is a financial report based on a sample data set. The data set is an Excel sheet, so it is stored in my local computer. So if I publish a report that is built on this particular data set, it will obviously will not get refreshed in Power BI service because it cannot, you know, uh, reach, uh, I mean, it, can, it cannot communicate with the Excel sheet. This is where your Power BI data gateways come in. They will be able to help you communicate from with your on-premise databases or on-premise uh, data sources. So let's see how it works. I have published this report. Uh, it's available in my Power BI service. This is the report and this is my data set. So if I go to the settings of my data set and I, I can see that the refresh has failed I tried a couple of refreshes and it has failed because there is no uh, you know, uh, data link or there is no way the Power BI service which is in cloud can communicate with my data sources on my laptop or my on-premises. If we look at the error and if I see the details, so it says there is an issue with the data source which is exactly what we know and if I go to my settings for my data set there's not much information available here it just says that my last refresh has failed and if I look at the data gateways I re currently I don't have any data gateways so we'll go ahead and install one of the data gateways in personal mode I remind you we will not be doing the standard mode standard mode is more for the organizations uh, we will we have seen in our previous video uh, what's the difference between the standard and the personal mode uh, the personal mode only works for the power bi data sets whereas the standard mode can work on any of the you know power platforms so let's go to our manage connections and if we go to our on-premise data gateways or if you look at the current connections this is our file, the financial sample data set. And if I try to look at the status, it should fail. Uh, so it says offline. So it is not able to fetch the data from the Excel sheet because it cannot communicate. Now let's go ahead and download our data gateway. It will take you to this web page. And we cancel that. I'll be downloading the personal mode and we will be configuring it uh, in our local system. The download is complete. Let me run this as administrator. Let, let's install this. After installation, you will need to configure it using, uh, I mean, configuration in the sense you will need to sign in using your account that, uh, that you're using for your Power BI service. So once this is complete, we should be able to use our credentials to sign in. The installation has completed successfully. Let's sign in. Let me paste my email address. That's the one I'm using my Power BI service. Let me sign in. That's the account. Signing me in takes a few seconds and that should be done. Once it is done, it says it will tell you that your gateway is online and it can be utilized. So we are all set. Let's head back to our Power BI service and just have a look at our data sources. So let's go to this manage gateways. 
if we go to the on-premises data gateways, this is where our personal mode uh, data gateway should be visible. But as you see my screen, you cannot see it as of now. I'll tell you why that is. So on the right hand side on top, there is this filter. So if you select all, the personal mode uh, data gateway will be visible. This is my data gateway in personal mode. Let's check the status and it is online. All right, so let's go back to our connections. This is our Excel sheet. It still cannot connect, which is because our data set uh, settings has not been modified yet. So we'll have to make sure that it is working there. We'll, we'll do a test connection. So let's head back to my workspace. This is my data set. The refresh will still fail because obviously we have not configured our data set to utilize the data gateways. So let's go to our settings. Still you can see the same error. Nothing has changed. Data source is missing credentials. That's all right. And this is your data source credentials. And this is the gateways and cloud connections. You can see the personal gateway is not visible and the status is running. So let's edit our credentials in the data source credentials. Windows without impersonation, that's all right. Let's change this privacy level to organization and sign in. Once signed in, our data gateway will be you know, able to uh, connect to the data sources. And as you can see, it has successfully completed. Let's do a quick refresh. Uh, let's see our refresh history. We haven't had a successful refresh yet. So let's go to our data set and do a quick refresh. Refresh now. You can see this is refreshing my data set. And since now we have you know configured our uh, data gateways, there should not be any issues. And it has completed successfully. Let's go back to our data set settings. And if I show you my refresh history, you will see the last refresh was successful. So we have successfully installed the data gateway in personal mode and refreshed our data source. Uh, thanks for watching and keep supporting.